I know you've probably heard me talk about this before, but uh, the world around us is just not the same as what it used to be. I remember when I was a young kid, People used to play outside. <clears throat> People used to put motors on their bicycles. People used to build go-karts. People used to have a good time. Now, you ride down the street, you don't see anything. Nobody's outside. Nothing's going on. The world is just dead. All you see is like the blue flashing inside of people's windows from their television sets. Television is mind control. Do you know who runs the television? The government. The government is run by the Illuminati. Money, 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 money. That's all they care about. They don't care about you or me. Their goal is to kill us. Their goal is to mind wash us, brainwash, dumb us down so they get away with their shit that they're doing. I'm not going to lose my temper over this. God doesn't want me to. I trust in God. I'm a God-fearing man. I believe God has opened my eyes to what's happening. All you have to ask is for wisdom. Ask God for wisdom, and He will give you wisdom. Just be prepared to handle it. <laughs> because once you find out what's going on in this day and age, it's going to be a little difficult to accept. And it's going to be a little difficult to walk down the street in this mindless, brainwashed, robotic society that we all live in. I'm not afraid of anybody. But I don't trust 95% of the people in this world because they're programmed. They're like robots. They're just like, Ugh, as they drive down the road in their cars. You could be laying on the ground with your head split open. They'll ride right past you. They don't care. People don't realize that when they stare at a television set, they're not just staring at a screen. It is an illusion. By the rate that the picture is flashing, you don't see it. Because it's at 30 to 50 hertz. In these new televisions, they probably have even higher flash rates. Frame rates is what they're called, I'm sorry. But people don't realize that puts you into a hypnotic state of mind. And since you're just sitting there, you're just like, uh, your attention's going to what is being showed. Your guard is down. Your natural mind defense is down because you're being hypnotized. You're focusing on what they're saying. The news is paid trillions of dollars every week to brainwash the public. What happened in Boston? People who are aware and who are not stuck inside this box that the mind police wants you to be in are aware that Boston was just simply an experiment. There was no terrorist. That was our own fucking government that did that. They're the terrorists. It ain't the other countries you got to worry about. It's your fucking president. Your Homeland Security Advisor. Those are the people that are the terrorists, just so you know. I'm sure you already do. If you don't, I advise you to do your research on New World Order as quick as you can while there's still time left. Anyway, when you're staring at the TV, you're not thinking. The only thing you're thinking about is what's being showed. 
these people were paid trillions of dollars to create a false illusion for everybody to see. And since everybody's staring at it, they think, oh, well, if everybody's watching it, it must be true. They watched it their entire lives, their parents, their parents' parents, all the way back to the 1930s. Not just one generation, two generations, but three generations, four generations, have been brainwashed. Back then, the brainwash was more realistic. It wasn't as intense as what it is now. But you look at the television now, they all got to have their fancy dresses. They all got to have ties. They all got to look perfect. They all got to put makeup under their eyes. And the way they talk is just so fake. Well, today we have a car fire on 4th Street. It's just so... It's fake. Television is run by the Illuminati. Every movie has to have a sex scene, or else it doesn't get promoted. What is sex? Sex before marriage is a sin. It's called fornication. Every movie. Not every movie, but 95% of them have killing. People get hurt. What happens if you kill somebody? You take another life. It says in the Bible, thou shall not kill. Okay? Just turn it off. Turn off your TV. Computer's one thing. Right now I'm talking to a cell phone. I'm talking to an electronic eye, which I'm not very comfortable about. But I'm doing it anyway for your advantage, to help you become aware, because I care about you. I don't know who you are, but I'm a God-fearing man, and I care about my brothers and sisters. If there's somebody laying on the side of the road, you best know I'm going to help them. I'm not like society. I'm not going to sit there and just walk on by. Okay? If you want to think I'm crazy, go right ahead. <laughs> Just be another one to the list, because as of now, the whole fucking society thinks I'm crazy. But you know what? I love you. Whether you're a man, a woman, I don't care, because we're all brothers and sisters. We're supposed to work together. We're supposed to love one another and spread peace. And that is exactly what the television has stopped people from doing. Another thing is school. Young children are brainwashed. They go to school. Their minds are flooded with all these fictional characters. They're told all these lies. Don't ever believe history. Don't ever believe what they taught you in school. That's all part of the process of shaping society. That's why it's the law that the kids have to go to school. If you don't send your kid to school, they consider you a terrorist. Even if you homeschool your kid anymore, they consider you a terrorist because you're not caught up in their mind control. You're not caught up in their their tricks. And society is so accepting of it. They're so accepting of it. It's insanity. It's crazy. These kids are kept away from the world for seven hours a day since they're like five years old. They're put into a classroom with all these other kids. They don't know any better. They're too young to understand what's really going on. And then they go to their houses. They're not going outside and playing. They're not going outside and having fun and enjoying simplicity like they used to. Now they're sitting in front of a television set. More mind control. Mind control after mind control after mind control. That's all these kids know. And then they wonder why they go out and start shooting people. They wonder why they go out and start killing people. They don't know any better. They come home, they play fucking video games where they're shooting cops, where they're killing people. Then they go to school. Then they stare at the TV. There's no reality. There's no reality for these kids. And that's today's generation. Sadly, my generation. We don't have much time left, people. I don't know who you are. I don't know who. I don't even know why you're watching my video. All The only advice I have for you is to trust in God. Turn off your TV and ask God for guidance. Ask Him for wisdom. Ask Him to give you wisdom. And He will.
I guarantee you. Don't get sucked into this insanity. Just because society goes highly upon Avon and television shows, it's not real. It's an illusion. Be you. Do what you want to do. Do what you like and think for yourself. Listen to people's opinions, but don't just go along with them until you yourself agree with it. I had somebody the other day come up to me and tell me Obama's the best president in the world. And I'm saying to him, okay, I know that Obama has no control at all. He's a puppet for the media to brainwash the public. He gets in front of a million people, follows a teleprompter, and fucking lies. He has no authority. He has nothing. All he's doing is being paid to lie. Lie in front of an electronic eye, which is a camera. He's being paid trillions of dollars to lie and to create a false illusion. Just like these movie stars. Just like these football players. Why do you think they're paid so much money? There's people on the street that are starving. There's people right now who I hang out with every day who have nowhere to go. Because they can't find a job. Yet these fuckers are being paid trillions of dollars every year. Are you kidding me? Think for yourself. Think for yourself. And you make the decision. Is that right or is that wrong? 